Hi everyone, I'm so I'm back with another flip through. This is Tinos. Um, so we went to Tinos as just part of like a day trip from Mykonos really. And as I said before, I like to do the islands in a different album because they are their own little islands. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed just putting this together. It was quite simple and it just came together really nicely. And obviously it's very small compared to my other albums. I haven't done my title. That's my job for today really, um, to do that. So other than that, it's just going to have big letters like my Mykonos one. It just will say Tinos on the front. Um, but yeah, so I really like how it's come out. I pretty much use the same sort of theming as Mykonos, um, but it's just a nice little add on to my Greek islands. Um, so, yeah. So we did um, manage to get a postcard, as I said before, when I was doing the process. It's very difficult sometimes to find a map postcard um, from places that you've been. Uh, I think because sometimes when you're really looking for them, you just can't find them. But um, I actually saw this in a little souvenir shop behind the counter. I don't think it was even for sale, um, but I saw there was loads of them. So I asked the lady, I said, could I have one of those ones? And she was like, yeah. And I think she only charged me like 15p or something like that. It really wasn't much. Um, I think in all honesty, they probably... It's not their favourite card, maybe because the words are blurred and stuff like that. But I don't care. It's a um, it's a map of the island. So we actually came into this little port here and we just explored this area here. But it's actually quite a big island. Um, so if you had a couple of days, you could hire a car and go out and have a look and things. And there was other islands that we could have gone to, but this was only 30 minutes on the ferry from Mykonos. So we thought that's perfect, really, for the, just a day trip. We don't want to be on the ferry for hours. Um, and yeah, it was just somewhere that we wouldn't normally go. We wouldn't um, have just picked a week holiday to go to Tinos. I'd never even heard of it until I, until I started looking um, at things to do around Mykonos and I started looking at the map and I saw these two other islands and I wondered how you could get there. Um, so yeah, it's just another little island to explore. So we bought tickets in advance. Um, so we actually pay uh, did it through this like ferry. It's like... Um, sky scanner but for ferries um i think it's literally called ferry scanner or something like that um but yeah so we we booked our tickets in advance so we went out with this golden star ferries which are these this one here and this one's called the andros queen which i thought was quite nice and they were absolutely huge like they weren't little um you know little boats that cross it's a huge ferry that obviously can take cars and all sorts because these ferries actually go on to athens and other parts of greece um so obviously there's a lot more passengers on there it could have come from somewhere else as well mykonos was just one of its stops um but yeah so we got on that ferry at 8 45 and so it was only half hour so we got in about quarter past nine um so this was just the ferry um going out and it's really really nice so i took a picture of like the front desk and like the seating area it's very modern um and we just sat there and watched the sea for a bit and then we went out to have a look um at us coming into tinos as well so yeah, we just relaxed. I think we bought some bits to have little bits of breakfast, not loads because we knew we were going to go out for brunch or something. But I think we bought like a coffee or something just to um, have whilst we were waiting on the ferry. But yeah, it was a really nice crossing. It was smooth and it was a really nice day as well. Obviously, I was a bit worried with the wind, um, but it seemed to be less windy on Tinos. So yeah, no, it was really, really nice. So as I said, we went out onto the deck and watched us come into Tinos. And um, the thing about the Greek islands is me and Joe are quite early people. Like we'll happily get up at like seven o'clock in the morning and be out by half past eight. Um, but a lot of the Greek islands and a lot of Europe, actually mainland Europe, things don't really open until like 10. Um, so it doesn't always pay to be an early bird. Um, but we, we still enjoyed it. As I said, when we got there, we had a wander around and just enjoyed the quietness of it. Um, but yeah. So when we got off, that was our ferry. We walked along the harbour bit and just had a... Um, a wonder. We come across some really cool statues. There was nice little boats and people fishing and stuff like that. And there was actually this large Greek flag that I managed to get a good picture of. It's very hard to get pictures of flags flying. <laughs> they always seem to flow the wrong way. But um, yeah, it was just a really nice walk along the harbour and just just seeing a bit more of a local town rather than um, obviously these big tourist destinations, which we do love. We love the Greek islands, the famous Greek islands and things, but it's always nice to see a bit more of a local place. Um, and this was definitely it. Like, I'm not sure what else Tinos has um, apart from tourism. Um, I imagine people do stay a couple of nights. Um, we did see quite a few hotels and things, but not big ones, like just, you know, ones that probably have two or three rooms and things. So um, people do stay overnight and do, you know, people do hop around the Greek islands. So 
yeah, no, it was really nice. So I so said, this is just us wandering along the, um, the harbour. And I love the washi tape that I used um, this beautiful day. I've been use meaning to use that for so long. I've had that for a long, long time. Um, so I'm glad that I got to use it. And I was a little bit sceptical about purple and gold together, but actually I like how it's come out. Um, and I, yeah, it just, just flowed quite nicely into using like silver for Mykonos and gold for Tinos. Um, so yes, just some more pictures of the harbour and walking around. The buildings were just as pretty. Obviously the Mykonos has done themselves up to be even prettier, but Tinnis is sort of like a natural prettiness. It's got all the white buildings and the cobbled streets, but they don't feel like they've been done purposely. Um, they probably have, but it just didn't feel as um, man-made as such. It, it felt quite natural. Um, but yeah, so we went for brunch. We went to this really nice place called Micro and um, it was just really, it was really cute. It was only a couple of tables, but this was the menu I showed before. And I was reading through this because I was trying to figure out which one I had. I know what I had. I had like these crepes with strawberry and um, vanilla on there. And it was really, really nice. But they don't actually have the equivalent in English. Um, they have random words like that just says sauce. <laughs> Oreo. You know, there's some random words in there that are English, but the rest is pretty much um, in Greek. But I don't mind. I like them sort of things. But yeah, I did take a little bit from our mat. Um, and then yeah just some pictures of us it was all framed by these lovely pink flowers um, and it just looked yeah it looked nice and Joe had some eggs um, with yeah, eggs benedict I think it was and like a fresh orange juice so yeah it was really nice it was as I said like a brunch sort of thing about half nine ten-ish it's not really brunch is it but <laughs> brunch for us um, and then we just had a wander around the really pretty streets so it was a lot cheaper than Mykonos like just looking around and all the different um bits and pieces that you can buy it just seemed cheaper the menus were cheaper um so yeah we were back into the land of what we we enjoyed um you know not extortionate prices or anything but it was really really pretty they had all the cobbled streets and said like um Mykonos and they had um one of these that had like tin written on I thought that was really really cute and they had all the little souvenir shops and things so yeah we did um we did do some little bit of shopping I bought a magnet and a postcard um and things like that so yeah, it was nice and it didn't seem to get um too busy until sort of about half 10 and then it started to get a lot busier so um, i'm glad we came over and had lunch and stuff before or had time to eat before it got really really busy this is just a map so as i said we literally only just looked around tinos town which is this area here but it is actually a massive island um i don't know how long it would take to drive around but there is other a lot of other little places to go to i would have loved to maybe spend a couple of days there just um driving around the local sort of areas we have been mean to do like um a road trip through greece to the lesser known places maybe th from athens up to the north um but we'll see <laughs> we haven't we sort of just talked about it we haven't planned anything but yeah i do love seeing greece as it is without the tourism and then we came across uh, loads of cats. We had so many cats and there was actually a lady that was feeding them all. Um, so there's about six or seven cats all around her here. And she was feeding them all and she was laughing at us because we were trying to pet them. <laughs> um, and we did manage to in the end, this picture of Joe um, petting one of them. But there were just so many of them. And I said it was nice that they saw the locals feeding them and things like that. Um, we always love to have a look at the cats. And these are the rest of the cat stickers that I got to use up. Um, and then this was just a few cats that were just sitting outside the shops and things. So again, just looking through the streets. This was a little souvenir bag that I bought my magnet in. Um, the lady in there was so cute. She didn't speak any English, but she was trying to she was trying to ask us where we were from. Um, and um, I don't think she knew <laughs> what we said, um, but she was just laughing. And yeah, she was just really cute. So it's just things like that um, that I enjoy. It just reminds me of it, that little bag. And just some nice pictures. Um, I loved, even though it's probably derelict and not looked after, but I just loved the old style buildings with the shutters. And obviously the, you know, that would be a really lovely house. Obviously, if they did it up a little bit, it would look lovely. But it's quite nice as it is. Um, just a bit sort of rustic. And as I said, little cold streets, little restaurants all going through them. It was nice to look around. And then we actually walked up this main street to this uh, cathedral and it was really, really impressive it, for such a small island to have such a big cathedral um, was really lovely. And we got to go in and um, we walked all around here and just we did actually see some bits going on. So we didn't want to go inside 
um, we just sort of had to wander around and just enjoyed the outside of it. Um, but I was Googling it um, when we was on the ferry back and it's actually a very important place, um, Tinos. Um, they consider it quite holy and they believe there's a part of this cathedral that is um, attributed to healing powers and stuff. So people do come here um, like on pilgrimages and things um, during festivals because they it's quite a, a, a religious place. And I didn't know that <laughs> until we came back. Um, but it was really lovely to see this. Um, and as you said, it's quite impressive for such a small island. So, um, yeah, it was really nice to see. So we just had to wander around. This again was the cathedral with the stairs and then as we we're walking down the street all the sort of as we got closer to like half 10 11 o'clock um a lot of the sellers and things were all setting up and there were open and things then so there was all these different um souvenir shops with a lot of like religious um paintings and drawings and stuff like that and there was one where this cat was just fully sat on all of them so i just thought that was really sweet um yeah it was just um a nice and as i said we really didn't do that much we just wandered around and but i just had a lot of photos for just wandering around so i thought i'd make another album and also as i said it is another island so i like to have them as on their own <laughs> and then we got the ferry back so we caught the blue star ferry this time um at quarter past 12 so we only had about three hours there and um, but that was enough for us as i said we didn't have a car so we couldn't really go too far um, but we did all our souvenir shopping. This was us waiting for the ferry because it was actually late. Um, it had it came back from another um, island. So obviously we had to wait a little bit for it to come in. Um, but this was the one we went back on. And this one was going to Athens. Um, so there was a lot of people. You can see like this queue of people here. And obviously they've got suitcases and things. As I said, that's, I imagine people do stay a couple of days and move on. Um, but yeah, so this one was going to Athens as well. So it was actually quite busy when we got on. This is like the seats on board, so it was almost like plain seats. Um, the other one was like more spread out and more like tables and things, but this one was like planes. But the seats were really comfy, um, and it's just a view out the window. The seas look quite rough there, but it didn't feel rough. Um, and yeah, we got back to Mykonos just before one, so we managed to have a wander around, and we sat by the pool and things afterwards. So this is just a map of the boat, basically, of the ferry. I thought I'd include that. Um, just because I could and it's just interesting I love things like this I love seeing like what's on board a, a ferry and things like that and like a, a layout so I just thought I'd include that but yeah so that was Tinos um another Greek island that we can tick off um so I hope you've enjoyed that little one and it might be a little while now until my next one because the next one is Romania and it's quite a big one um, so we'll see how long that takes me, <laughs> but I will be back with some process videos and get myself ready for it and everything like that. So, um, hope you enjoyed and I'll be back soon. Bye.